we've just come out of a um, lockdown, four months in lockdown because of the pandemic. And my first day out after a long time and I, I am just thinking about the fact that the last eight months when we've been sort of in a pandemic and there's been global turmoil, what is happening without a doubt at the same time when you see a lot of people going into fear and they're going into scarcity and a lot of people are losing jobs, a lot of people are losing their livelihood. What you're also seeing at the same time is that a lot of people are now going to have this huge leverage and in the next three or four years a lot of investors and business people are going to take quantum leaps forward because they have long-term perspectives and I have been studying this trend and this is something that I learned and when I was younger I had the opportunity to learn from a lot of good investors and I learned that smart investors understand that everything works in cycles. There are booms and busts in every economy. What goes up must come down. No economy is going to stay up all the time. There's always going to be some sort of crisis, some sort of recession, some sort of crash, some sort of event, global event that's going to bring everything down. People are going to lose their livelihoods. They're going to lose their jobs. They're going to lose their businesses. The smart people who are savvy, what they do is they they get prepared for these times. So when everyone's optimistic and everybody's feeling really good, everyone's getting out there, buying consumer items, buying property, buying shares, and they see that there is a, a very high level of unrealistic optimism out there. The, the successful people, the financially savvy people, they sit back and then they wait for times like this when a crisis happens because the inexperienced people and people have very short term memories. So I think a lot of people forget that crisis is something that's very normal in an economy. We just the name of the crisis changes. Sometimes we call it GFC. Sometimes we call it Brexit. Sometimes we call it the terrorist attacks. Sometimes we call it COVID-19. Sometimes we call it mad cow. Sometimes we call it bird flu. And you would have noticed if you actually take a long term perspective, you'll see that over the last 20, 30 years, there's been so many different types of crises. And in a crisis, you will always see the, those who are unprepared, those who succumb to the panic, those who do not take a long term perspective are the ones that are hurt the most. And they're the ones that lose a lot. They lose their investments, they lose their livelihood, they lose their income, they lose their clients. And so when the COVID you know, situations happened, a lot of people have been sitting on cash. And this is how they prepare themselves. You see, the preparation starts a few years before the crisis happens. You can't prepare in the midst of the crisis. You've got to prepare way before the crisis. And so these people get prepared. And now, as a lot of businesses are being forced into sale because they can't keep up their obligations. A lot of homeowners cannot keep up with their obligations. A lot of people are getting out of the share market because they need the money because they've lost their income. You'll see that a lot of these savvy people, financially savvy people are sitting there and now they're going to buy out everything. They'll be, they've been buying things out already. They've been buying out real estate when it was distressed. They've been buying out businesses when businesses were distressed. When people were panicking and leaving the markets, these people were getting in. Now, some of you might be maybe feeling a little bit of anger and you might be thinking, you know, well, that's a bit, you know, it's a bit cold hearted for these people to be sitting there and taking advantage of this situation. Well, the thing is, if they don't do anything, then a lot of these assets are not going to sell for the people who are getting out of shares, for the people who need who need to wind up their business, for people who want to sell their properties, somebody needs to buy it. So these people are there, they're prepared and they've got money. You know, Warren Buffett has always said that, you know, be greedy when people are fearful and be fearful when people are greedy. And when you see that there is unreal, unrealistic optimism, a lot of people who are savvy, financially savvy, they sit on the sidelines and they wait. Now they'll get back in the markets. 
they'll start to buy um, depressed assets and distressed assets and they will buy them at a bargain price 10 20 30 40 percent under its intrinsic value and then what will happen is they will buy them and that's one part of them quickly creating their wealth and the other part is that when all the asset prices go back up again because after every sort of crisis and every recession or every crash there is typically a recovery so when the recovery happens these investors and these business savvy people they benefit from this double whammy because on one hand they bought everything under its intrinsic value but then they get a very quick and rapid gain on those asset values at the same time and this is how they become wealthy and this is how they get ahead and they do this over and over again whereas the average person is never prepared you see the average person is living day to day or week to week or month to month with no sort of planning around what they're going to do in the next three years five years ten years and twenty years an interesting study that was done by Dr. Banfield which was that one of the key qualities of financially successful people or people who have what he calls economic mobility is that they have long-term orientation because the masses and that's majority of people that's all majority of poor people majority of the middle class they have a very myopic and short-term view on their life and on their future and on their finances they don't plan long term so what happens is because they're living paycheck to paycheck they're living day to day week to week month to month they are completely oblivious to the fact that a crisis is a very normal occurrence in an, in any economy and so they throw all caution to the wind they go on spending money they never sit on cash they never make any provisions for emergencies they never have any money tucked away to buy assets that are selling for lower than their intrinsic value and so they're never able to take advantage of these opportunities and so the lesson here is you can't probably do anything right now if you haven't prepared for this crisis and you're probably finding yourself in the midst of this crisis and you're probably feeling angry and you're probably feeling like it's all very unjustified and I understand that but right now the worst thing you can do is to go into this victim mentality and the best thing that you can do right now is to understand that there is going to be another crisis in the next within the next four years and prepare for that meaning that have a plan start to understand that you can't just be living day to day week to week month to month you've got to have long-term orientation start making provisions for the next crisis start having a plan to acquire assets because if you don't acquire assets you cannot secure your financial future and get prepared for the next one so that when the next one strikes you can take advantage of it because there is only two things that can happen when a crisis happens either you're at the losing end or you're at the winning end and so you've got to start making decisions right just like you go into a shop and you buy something when it's discounted right you you go into the supermarket maybe you want to buy some cereal and you see that your favorite cereals you know being discounted by 25 percent instead of buying one you buy two or three and this is what people do when it comes to consumer items when it comes to entertainment they spend when the prices are slashed but what do they do when asset prices are slashed instead of investing they start selling instead of buying they start selling with every other consumer item they buy more when the prices are slashed but when asset prices the things that actually make you wealth those things fall in value most people because they're not financially savvy they're not financially astute because they don't have long-term orientation they start selling these days majority of the middle class has opportunities to skill upskill themselves educate themselves become more financially savvy so if they choose not to do that if they choose to instead spend their time and money on entertainment consumerism and sport they do themselves a massive disadvantage and the thing is if you're sitting here complaining about the economic climate and saying that you know things were out of my control out of your control well the thing is it's never out of your control there are a lot of things you can do yet there are things that are out of your control but you can there are a lot of things you can influence and everything that you can influence you must influence so you know what get prepared 
the next crisis is going to happen. It's just going to have a different name. It's going to have a different label. There is going to be panic in the markets again. There's going to be blood on the streets again. And you need to decide, is that going to be your blood? Or are you going to find yourself being prepared because you mentally, emotionally and financially understand that these things are normal? And will you prepare? And will you use that time to get ahead, especially if you're falling behind today? That will be one way that you can get ahead is to make sure that you are you have made adequate provisions, you're well funded, you're well researched, you're not panicking, you're not making decisions based on your emotions, you have a plan, you have clear objectives, and most importantly, you have long-term orientation.